This is Cybert signing into Red Alert 3 on the map pool party for a 2v2 featuring as the blue Soviets in the top left hand corner, Andre. In the bottom right hand corner as the Cyan Empire, this is Sheriff AA, also known as Awesome A, or in this uh, particular <laughs> match, Empire Not OP, making a little statement there. In the top right hand corner as the Red Allies, this is Goldie a.k.a. James Bond, Goldeneye, if you will. And in the bottom right-hand corner is the yellow allies. This is Ronovic. So a bunch of these guys, actually all these guys, on mates or uh, one time on mates. I don't know what the status of the clans these days are. But uh, mates, you know, representing all of these guys at one point. Maybe now, maybe not. Who knows? At any rate, these guys most likely just playing a bit of a friendly match here. And this one was sent to my email. And, uh, boy, I've been going through a bunch of the games in my email. And, uh, all sorts of, uh, interesting things happen. Most of them not good games. But this little bear exchange here is going to be favoring Goldie in the end. Going to be losing a couple of peacekeepers in that civilian structure. But for now... It looks like Andre is going to be forced to back off. Also, I'm going to record and produce this video all the way in uh, UHD. So if the minimap terribly bothers you, then maybe I'll switch back to 1080p. As I don't know how much of a difference it will make to most people. Uh, it will look a little bit better, but I don't. again, I don't know how much people are really going to notice. And I know the size of the icons on the minimap does bother some people. I got over it in about five minutes, but I definitely understand having all of the icons be basically half size is a little bit annoying, so I get it. it looks like Ronovic going to be expanding up north. It's uh, throwing me off that Goldie is red and uh, not yellow, or orange would also be acceptable, as his name is Goldie. But, uh, sounds like we got some Terror Drone action somewhere on the map. There's the little Terror Drone. Always has the clicky-clacky little legs running around, and it looks like for now Ronovic has pushed Sheriff AA back. Sheriff AA going for a big infantry swell, as you can see all those Imperial Warriors packing their way into that structure. And it looks like this Prospector may be going down, although Goldie may also be working on a naval yard right now, so could get himself some repairs for that Harvester in the south. Ronovic going to be trying to hold off this impending wave of Imperial Warriors coming in from Sheriff AA as Peacekeeper is going to be going for the oil derrick in the north. Sheriff AA going to be backing off a little bit here. Terror Drone going to be heading south just to try and even things up. And when you've got the, the Riptides on the front lines, having a Terror Drone just to lock things in place, even potentially get an infect, although probably not against all that gun damage. Take out Terror Drones pretty darn quick. He's going to be pushing forward, going to be rocking that Riptide down in place, allowing the Imperial Warriors to get a little bit closer. And shutting down this barracks would be nice, but of course not totally necessary, as here comes a Vindicator. Going to be not going for a bombing run just yet. Going to be saving it maybe for the Terror Drone, as the Vindicator does get pushed away by the Bullfrogs. Nearly taken out there, and AA is going to be able to push a little bit further. Going to get himself a nice Riptide. Very well done while in the north. Goldie going to be putting the pressure on Andre a little bit there. And uh, trying to cap that building won't quite be successful, but will be successful in pushing Andre out of it. And now Sheriff AA and Andre have a little bit of a foothold here in the south. It looks like potentially another terror drone got a kill, or uh, got killed rather, as it was going for the harvester potentially there. Although with all that defense there and the repair is going to be pretty easy to keep the harvester safe. This one down in the south for Ronovic is going to be going down. And Rano getting hit pretty hard by these two guys. A little bit of team action forcing him to uh, take some potentially drastic measures. As for now, his economy is a little bit weakened. Just rocking those two refineries when he would much rather be rocking three. And, uh, you know, losing your oil, Derek, to an awesome A cap is never fun. Awesome A going to be looking to set up a third refinery using those two oil derricks to the best of his ability. And uh, hammer tanks, bullfrogs in the north. Looks like Goldie going to be trying to put on a little bit of pressure with just that one riptide. Not a big deal there as uh, one riptide versus hammer tank. Come on. Come on. This dolphin uh, may be spotted, although right now Sheriff AA 
doesn't have a ton to deal with out on the water. Sending a couple of Tangu is going to be able to deal with that Dolphin without too much trouble. Even the Harvester going to be putting a little bit of DPS into this and uh, the Dolphin will go down. The Harvester will go back to work. The Union Strike doesn't need to happen as the worker conditions are indeed safe enough to continue on. Apollo going to be taking a little bit of flack there from that Bullfrog as uh Goldie, I almost called him Andre, as in the north, Goldie. I'm used to Andre playing allies. Oh, the Goldie also does play allies, so not a big deal there. As Rano going to be clearing out that oil derrick, decides not to recap it, isn't going to be going for that. Sickle jump into this uh, ore collector is what we expect to see. It looks like it won't actually happen as that uh, javelin trooper gets a kill from the building there. Peacekeeper is going to be trying to gun down this ore refinery as Andre going for the expand, but it's conscripts will potentially keep that guy safe as uh no the peacekeeper jumps on out and uh epic battle for the sentries but in the south anything is potentially more interesting than that as a couple of chopper vx is gonna be showing up here for awesome a he's gonna be potentially putting some pressure on goldie and i know he drives right past that ore collector right past the refinery and instead goes for the throat goes for the power plant as uh you know Multi-gunner turrets, they are always very good, and if you can cut off the multi-gunner turrets from an allied player, it makes them so much more vulnerable. That, ooh, that cryocopter is not going to be taken out, although this MCV is going to take a lot of damage from the tsunami tanks from the chopper VXs as well, and these Tangus in the sky dealing with Apollos, dealing with Vindicators, going to be trying to keep his friends safe as it looked like for now. The Tsunami Tanks will be continuing to press this MCV further and further south. The Riptide's even going to be coming in for the defense. Maybe able to use... No! He's not able to use that Honorable Discharge to really get the kill on that MCV. Narrowly keeps it alive and Sheriff AA wasted all of those units to kill that MCV. And it looks like Andre may be able to secure the kill, although for now just these two Twin Blades taking a lot of damage from the Javelin Troopers on the ground. The Bullfrog is going to be here for reinforcements, but what are they going to do? Their guns don't shoot down, although if they could get the kill on the Cryocopter, trading out against one Twin Blade would be worth it, but there is going to be Multigunner Turret coming down for Goldie, going to be able to push this attack away, and Ronovic will stay alive. He will survive to fight another day. His MCV is doing okay. It looks like a Terror Drone got the kill on that Harvester. Very annoying considering how close those repair drones were to being able to save that harvester. Goldie now on the hunt. Vindicators not hunting in packs. They're getting separated a little bit here, although Apollo's going to be trying to hunt in packs, and of course with that return to base, they can definitely engage that many uh, that many Tangus, even though the numbers, of course, favor the Tangus. It does not matter with that speed boost. It's so, so good. One Peacekeeper not going to be able to stand up against four Tangus while in the North Dolphins. Going to be able to get kill on one of Andre's Harvesters, forcing Andre to respond with something. But the answer is uh, basically nothing. He's got a Twin Blade. Going to be able to hunt down those Dolphins. But for now, they're just running away so quick out on the water All the, are those Dolphins. But that, you know, the Twin Blade eventually, right? Twin Blade eventually if the dolphins ever stop. Although, if they just chase those dolphins all the way around the map, that will make me pretty darn happy. Happy as the Harvester does get sniped there. Great move by Goldie. Going to be able to move out and get a nice, nice, easy kill on that Harvester. An ice kill on that Harvester. I didn't mean for that to be a pun, but I accidentally misspoke and turned it into a pun, so I decided to go with it. And then I decided, what's better than a pun? Explaining a pun. That's what's better than a pun. Uh, this dolphin <laughs> is still just getting chased by the twin blade. One twin blade. He's having so much trouble with an amphibious creature that can't shoot up. Is this a Kula sub? Going to be going for the kill on that refinery. And uh, Hydrofoil may be actually be able to shut that down with that weapon jammer. Going to be able to stop the Akula sub from doing any more damage. Going to be forcing it to submerge. And, of course, run away a little bit and then come back like 10 seconds later and get another couple of shots off. Two Apollos do go down as Andre going to be pressing in in the north. And, uh, no, for now, that Akula's up just hanging out. He's, uh, he's not going to drive away or anything. Sheriff AA building up a big Tier 2 army. Lots of Mecha Bay production. Even a couple of Tank Busters going to be mixed in as well. And, uh... Doesn't look like any Tier 3 just yet, so he's not too worried about going for King Onis or Wave Force Artillery, more likely. But uh, for now, Andre 
posturing in the middle of the map. Going to be dropping those toxins with the Desolator Airstrike on top of those potential forces, but really just going to be forcing Goldie to move on back and, uh, you know, potentially some infantry going down there. Single Twin Blade does get sniped as it's going for the Harass. Andre trying to make do with what he can, but I mean, really, one Twin Blade attacking uh, an allied player this late in the game, you're probably not going to get a free kill on a Harvester. Maybe against a lesser player, but against someone like Goldie, he's probably not going to let that happen just so easy. Looking for the angle of opportunity is Sheriff AA making use of those amphibious units. Going to be trying to hit the north side of this refinery while in the north. A big cryo shot fires off, but it's just going to be catching a couple of bullfrogs. Not the bulk of this army, which is hammer tanks crushing everything. Bears parachuting in and going for the kill of every single peacekeeper. The surround of the armor is enough to crush through everything that Goldie had. His air force is his one saving grace, but even the cryocopter even the cryo shot rather couldn't be broken those units coming off the freeze going to be able to step on forward adding more power to this attack there's going to be a saving multi-gunner turret but is it enough to actually stop all of these hammer tanks if these bullfrogs were in a better position they could, they could potentially deal more damage to the aircraft of goldie while on the south side we do have another cryo shot going to be firing off but sheriff aa avoids it pretty darn easily as he's got a huge army going to be pressuring pressuring ronovic without too much trouble ronovic has to have an answer for this emperor's rage going to be firing off and these assault destroyers could be the only heart and soul of this army this is going to be a long drawn out kind of a fight because the firepower isn't necessarily here for Ronovic to just shatter this attack without any help or without any trouble but Sheriff AA does pull back. He's trying to draw Ronovic out away from the multi-gunner turrets. Three multi-gunner turrets there for the defense. And now that the assault destroyers are down, Sheriff AA has the clearly superior army. But if he can't bleed this army away from the uh, from the easy base defenses, then he could probably still win that fight, but it would be a lot more costly. In the north... Dreadnought's going to be firing off. The cryocopter does go down. Goldie has a serious long-range problem that he's going to have to deal with. Akula subs kill whatever this was in the south. It looks like a Riptide going down there, and now this expansion is going to be under threat as well. Andre going to be pushing on into Goldie, and it looks like Sheriff AA doesn't care anymore about Ronovic. He's just going to be going for the kill, teaming up with Andre in the north as a Kirov drops more bombs on this multi-gunner turret. <laughs> Even a vacuum imploder. Okay. Now you're just being silly, Andre. This game isn't going to last six more minutes. Although, Goldie and Ronovic could pull a heroic defense utilizing the dual cryo beam action. Cryo beam. Cryo shot slash uh, blast as it is. I guess it's tier two, so. They got the cryo blast going off and, uh, one Guardian tank does get caught by that, which is always a little bit unfortunate. And Andre has four Apocalypse tanks. Four APOC tanks rolling up into this base. And there are a couple of Multigunner turrets here, a couple of Guardian tanks, and even some Apollos trying to get the kill there on these Kirovs. But this is a ton of stuff. Even Emperor's Rage going to be firing off here as this MCV is almost certainly going to be busted by these APOC tanks. And if it's not, the Kirovs are here to finish the job. Ronovic doesn't have a lot to help, and that MCV goes down easy. Two Kirovs turning their way to the rest of the base. Goldie getting hit from every single angle as Andre and Sheriff AA make short work of the rest of his base. And a 2v1 with this kind of an army is... Uh, is not going to be too crazy. Although, Nano Swarm Hive, a curious investment from uh, from AA. I'm not sure what he plans on actually doing. I guess he was maybe going to lock something down for like 20 seconds or whatever. Goldeneye and Ronovic have been defeated. Andre and Sheriff AA with the handsome 14 or 15 minute victory there and uh, just crushing through a couple of allied guys. But that will do it for this game. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all very much for watching. And of course, this is Cybert signing out.